Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. If they see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there.
Где? I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. We can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Idiot. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, you had your feet up the whole time playing sick. And fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. They're left here, towards roads. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. 
Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. <laughs> so, we got the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan? Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Just Let's get it on the tracks. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, yeah. get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick hey. and join us on there. Go on! Get Foster. on there! All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and sure. get shot! Go! Don't, don't, don't. Everything you got! Money! Valuable! Come on! Better oh. than this. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. This is unnecessary. Please. C'est de la folie. I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to over. Tell him, Mr. M. Money. Oh. Hey. Don't Damn. do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Stop. No, please. I want to count to three. God damn it. Oh, God. Sick is better than Here. dead, lady. And I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be... Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. You must make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Good job. Tough guy, huh? You sure about Why that? Why are you wasting our time, You huh? show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around Quick, come here. on! I'll do anything. Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend, then. Oh, my honey, now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay! okay. None of you. What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake. You ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> I'll 
can you provide the cover? Doctor, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. <laughs> Damn, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. We won't tell you. Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. Please, we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this lot was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Unprotected by Will. You are too hard on him. He, he with you. I can't. I already tried. Yeah. Try again. <sighs> Your uncle. 
So, the bad prince <laughs> was punished for his greed <laughs> and cast out of the kingdom. Kingdom. Hmm. What's a kingdom? Um, I don't know. I guess where your king lives. I thought that was a castle. See, you're smart. So quit acting dumb. I'm trying, Mama. You ain't trying much. Please, Arthur. Give the boy a chance of bettering himself. It's hard enough trying to raise him in this place. But I want to be a gunslinger when I grow up. Over my dead body? You will be a lawyer. You do the hanging, not the swinging. You hear me? I hear you, Mama. Can I go play now? <sighs> sure. We'll try again soon. Well, thank you, Hosea. me take you out for an evening into town, you know, to a, like a magic lantern show or some such. Well, I don't, I think I'm getting a little long in the tooth for... Oh, nonsense. <laughs> How about tomorrow? Good morning, Arthur. Well, let me think. So that's a yes? Okay. Well, if I'm going to go out with you, I'm going to have to look my best, so can I borrow ten dollars? Can I borrow a few dollars? I'm good for it. Borrow money? Oh, you horrible man! Well, you can't blame a fellow for trying. <laughs> did for him. My deepest condolences, madam. And mine to you. For all your wretched lives. <laughs> Who did you call a goddamn drunkard? Junk. I got no idea. Thank you. 